we thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We give you honor and we give you your glory. Bless us on today. Bless us, Lord. Oh God, those who are traveling on the way here, near and far. Oh God, we ask you to special blessing for oh my family, Lord God, the lost heart. We ask you, Lord God, to continue to bless us, Lord Jesus. Comfort us in our time of bereavement. And Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, to comfort those who are walking in the midst of struggles. But I bind the hand of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus, let your blood prevail, Lord. Heal somebody today. Deliver somebody today. Fill somebody up today, Lord. Oh, God, touch us today. Oh, God, as we gather here in your name. Oh, God, it would not be right if you don't come in, Lord God. We invite you into our service. Oh, God, have our way. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bind the hand, Lord that looks to slow things down. Bind the hand. Or get slow for this. Bind the hand, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Remember our mothers, oh, God. Remember those who are sick and shut in, Lord God. Oh, God. Go into the nursing room. Go into the hospital. Oh, God. Stretch up your hand and heal, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask you right now. Oh, God. Remember, Lord. I hardly knew to those who are incarcerated. Our family, remember our unsaved ones, Lord. Oh, our children, our, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, Lord God, our grandchildren. Oh, God, save them, Jesus, save them. In the name of Jesus, cover them, Lord God. We do the right spirit in them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we ask you right now, Lord God, bless us today. Give us wisdom, give us understanding, Lord God, while we gather here today. In the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Jesus Christ, we pray. Good old God, say amen. Put your hands together and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do not hide your face. 
face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see that I would see the Lord, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. All together, verse 14, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and in the strength of the heart, wait, I say on the Lord, to the Lord of a blessing on the reading of his word, may sanctify our hearts, and we may grow thereby, in Jesus' name we pray, sing, and over
Please come in that order. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Refuge Temple Annex is the church within your reach, reaching out to you. This time is set aside to welcome any first-time visitors and to all that is here to worship at the Annex on this afternoon. We welcome you on behalf of our overseer, Apostle W. Michael Fields, our assistant pastor, Elder Kevin Dickerson, the ministerial staff, the mother's board, and the missionaries. We are so delighted that you are here to worship with us on this afternoon. Please come again. The announcements for today are as follows. The International Women Council Conference will be held on October 16th through the 20th in Jacksonville, Florida. Join us for in-person Bible study. It is held every Tuesday at 7 p.m. The church doors open up at 6 p.m. for prayer. We are currently studying the book of Colossians. The weekly adult Sunday school class is held every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock via Zoom. Please speak to Mother Newton before the Zoom link information if you don't have it. Our weekly telephone prayer call is every Thursday at 7 p.m. If you are not receiving the call-in information, please see me immediately following the service. The third Saturday monthly in-house prayer and tarry service will be held on Saturday October 19th from 11 to 12.30 here at the Reference Temple Annex. Every first Saturday of the month, beginning in October, we will have a Bronx Diocese All Women Prayer Call hosted by Lady Sweat at 7.30 a.m. The calling information is forthcoming. We are a church that encourages prayer and also to learn and study the word of the Lord. More prayer, more power. And those who pray can expect a miracle. Amen. For a tribute to our regional apostle, Apostle Sanders, at the um, International Women's Conference, we were asked to take a group photo. This will take place immediately following your service today. We are asking all to participate in the photo. This concludes our announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly and have a blessed day.
Thank you.
Jesus. He's our living in the valley. He's our morning star. He's our prayer out there. He's our battle out. He's our strong power. Oh, hallelujah. He's our father. He's our brother. He's our sister. He's our mother. He's everything that you need. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give him a praise because he's our Savior and he died for our sins and rose again. Hallelujah. That's what kind of God that we serve. We serve a great God today. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody give him a praise. And every man 
that had this hope in him purify himself even as he is pure. Amen. Amen. My thought on this morning is a call to sonship. So to have the power of influence. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our great King. A call to sonship. Sometimes the power of influence. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Sonship means that we are members of the kingdom of God. We were once sinners and slaves in sin. John wrote Christ his apostle, amen, to combat the confusion of division. Because in the early time of Christianity, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of naysayers. So he spends his time to make an affirmation to let them know that we have the core of Christianity. Our core belief is upon Jesus Christ, crucified and risen for salvation. It's because his love that he bestowed upon us through his son, that he died for our sins goes again for our justification. John emphasizes his love. If you read the book of John, the first chapter, he talks about love. But not only that, he, he brings it back to Genesis. Amen. Let me make it clear. Let's look at first John. Can I teach this morning? The Bible says that which was from the beginning which he have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which he have looked upon in our hands and handed of the word of life. What is the word of life? It's whatever comes out of God's mouth. It is the word of life. In the beginning, he spoke, he said, let us make man. And man became in the image of so whatever God speaks is life. And the life is in the word when God speaks. When God spoke on your life, he quickened something that was once spiritually dead and awakened into a spiritual life. And when he spoke on your life, thank you, Holy Ghost, he broke the chains of sin. He destroyed the plan of the enemy on your soul. We was quicken and trespassed at one time. We was in sin, but he quickened us because Jesus is the life Adam. He was always the Adam. Without him, there will be no beginning. And there will be no end. Amen. And John writes to him to let her know that Christ was manifested in the flesh. He was God 100% and 100% human. But despite the humanity of God, his humanity knew no sin. Because he did not come from a seed of a man, he came from a seed of a woman. Are you listening? So, he lets them know that, amen, that the nature of God is pure. The nature of God 
has no sin. And through the nature of God, you have an eternal existence. Amen. Because when God went down to hell, he took the keys to death and hell. And rose the keys and said, I don't want all power in my hand. We serve a God that has risen from the grave. A living God. Not a God that they put like little shrines and little, amen, posters and churches that they make. Those are dead gods. We serve a living God, a breathing God. A God that, amen, when he stepped through the room, hallelujah, through the door, they said, look at God, look at Jesus, this has to be God. And when they looked, amen, Don, Don Thomas looked and said, I, I see that he came through the door, but I still don't believe. See, some of, that shit, some of us are listening to the word, but not really hearing what the word says. There's a difference, I feel the Holy Ghost over there. There's a difference from listening and hearing God's word. You can listen and not pay attention to what someone's talking about. So it said that if you go with one ear, you go out the other. So many people come to church and listen to what the preacher says, but they don't hear what he's really saying. Are you listening? He didn't. Donald Thomas didn't really listen when he was on the Mount of God. Amen. He said, ah, hey, when you see the Father, you see me. You see me, you see me. I am, me and my Father is one. And he said, no man can take my life and lay it down. I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up. Amen. It has limited access, limited resources. It relies on the master to give them resources. And it can't, amen, do what they want to do because there's a string attached. Because they under slave. They enslave under bondage. But when Christ, who's our
is a powerful tool. It can, an individual can, it can impact on what you purchase, what you, what decisions that you make, their authority, their knowledge, you trust everything. Even, amen, in relationships. Through social media, we engage every day. Every day we engage in social media, don't we? You pick up that phone and you're good on Facebook. Right now, what are we doing right now? We're trying to influence somebody that they need Jesus. We're on Facebook right now. Say, hey, there is a God. There, there is hope. Hallelujah. You don't have to live the way you live. There's something greater for you. Because God has hope in your life. Do we walk by people? 
people don't say nothing. Look at you. You don't know what's wrong with you, amen. But do you do you have that hope that's inside of you, the transformation that God has transformed your heart? Are you listening? Because the word says, amen, 1 John 3, 2. What does it say? Beloved, now we are the sons of God. We are. I said we are the sons of God. Amen. I'm a son of the king. Are anybody a son of the king? Amen. It says, it does not appear what we should be. But we know that we shall appear. When he shall appear, we should be like him. What are you looking at? What are you reading, preacher? Amen. We don't know. Because each and every day, we start to be transformed. We don't look like what we're going to look at the end. But we're moving to that, amen, perfection in Christ. Amen. Each of us are growing each and every day. What you go through is the thing that makes you stronger. Strengthen your identity, amen, and all. Amen. 
that broke your heart with peace. Follow, amen, amen. <laughs> Follow anyone that wrong you with peace. And with holiness. Holiness, amen. Holiness. Love on them. Forgive them. Seven times seven. Forgive them. Lord, I forgive you. Lord, I forgive them. I forgive us. I think Jesus said, I know that the Lord Father forgive them. They know not what they do. Yes. 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 God, wants to be, God wants us to be like that. Yes. Yes. Even the very ones that crucify him, he said, Lord, forgive them. Because yes. they know not what they do. Yes. I know they spit on me. I know they, amen, cast spots on my soul. I know they piss me in the side. Hallelujah. I know they try to give me vinegar and gal before I die. I know they try to poison me, but I'm gonna give I know they hallelujah. Rip me down, strike 30 times. I know they give out. God oh, forgive them. They know that what they do. Forgive them, Lord. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Lord, teach me how to forgive.
Romans chapter 10. Know that, know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into a death that life as Christ has, was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in the newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of a death, shall we also in the likeness of his resurrection. Know that all man is crucified with him. That the body of that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. Yeah, yeah. Now as we begin with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Death got no more to be over him. Oh, death, where is thy sin? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Death has been swallowed up in Jesus Christ. You are a child of the King. You belong to Jesus Christ. So we are not ashamed of the gospel. And that's why we glory in our tribulations. Knowing that tribulation, what? Working patience. And patient, experience, and experience hope. And hope make him not ashamed for the love of God that shed upon our heart by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Amen. We have the Holy Ghost. Amen. That signifies that we are sonship of Christ. Hallelujah. And with the power of the Holy Ghost, you can influence There's many ways that God has allowed us to be able to influence through the social media, any many different platforms, digital marketing, anything, amen, even just walking out, handing out tracks. There's so many different platforms that we can use the power that we have. For he gave you the power to be sons of God. Hallelujah. What love that God has formed to the soil upon us that we should be called sons of God. He commanded his love, commanded his love, commanded his love to us. Are you listening? Yes. Saints of God, you are a child of God. Know who you are. Don't let no one take away your confidence. No thing, no, 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 no person, no woman, no man, no thing, no, no, no nothing to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 We have hope in Christ. We can live again because He lives. Lives inside of us. I said the other day, Amen. And he didn't say he was, he was the light was in Christ. He said, I am the light. I am. He said he is the light. And if we in Christ, we have the light. And if we have the light, we are light in the dark world. We are light on top of the city, on top of the mountain. But Christ. Is the light. And he is the light of the world. And as, as us called to sonship, we are in him. And we live and move. And we do what God has called us to do. And we have our inheritance through our offspring. So thank you to God that God has called us out of darkness. Into his mom's life. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. Glory to God. 
hands together and give God the glory of this church. Hallelujah. Is anybody in hands that have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin? Amen. This is the time if you want to get baptized. Amen. If you haven't been baptized before, amen. We'll baptize you. Amen. If anyone that wants to get this your church home, amen. Yeah. 